Christ Jesus, everyone. In Genesis 1.1, the Bible says, God created the heavens and the earth. In verse number two, it says, the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And he continues in verse number three and says, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. This whole world was created by God speaking words. If you look around you, whatever you see was created by words. If I ask you, what is the raw material of a mountain? Many people would say rock, sand, minerals, water, snow, soil. But actually, the raw material of a mountain is the word of God. Because where did that rock come from? The word of God. Where did that sand, where, the, where did that water, where did that minerals come from? God speaking the word. That's where it came from. So everything you see around you has been created by God speaking words. Now, God has given us the same power to speak words. Now, when God spoke words, the Bible says the Holy Spirit was hovering upon the face of the waters. Now, when God said, let there be light, it was the Holy Spirit who sprung into action and brought the manifestation. And so now, in the same way in our life, okay, we are supposed to speak words. Now, God did not say there is darkness, let there be light, and there was light. God said, let there be light, and there was light. That means God did not speak what he saw because what he saw was darkness. What he spoke was, let there be light. What he spoke was, let there be light. And there was light. In the same way in our lives, we are not supposed to speak what we see. We are st supposed to speak what we want to see. And what we want to see should be the word of God in our life. So instead of speaking, I am sick, I am cursed, I am this, I am that. We are supposed to speak the word of God and the word of God is the answer to our situation. Every minute of our life, instead of focusing on my situation, I'm supposed to be focused more on God's word. And the more I'm focused on God's word is the more I will start experiencing that word in my life. So every minute of my life, what I'm supposed to do is learn how to speak the word of God by faith. What we are called to do is learn how to speak the truth by faith. And so every minute of our life, instead of speaking what we see, I may see sickness. I may see cancer. I may see lung disease, liver disease, uh, fever. But instead of speaking what I see, we are supposed to speak what we want to see. And what we want to see is the healing of God's word that God is saying, by the wounds of Jesus, I am healed. Now we have the same power to speak words. The Holy Spirit is hovering over our life. And the moment I make the decision to speak words, now the Holy Spirit is the one who springs into action and brings the manifestation. So every minute of our life, we need to speak words because if we are speaking the wrong words, then we will experience the wrong manifestation. Just like how the steering wheel on a car determines the course that the car is direct, uh, driving in, the direction, whether it is left, right, front, back, all because of that steering. That steering is small compared to the car, but it directs the car in the same way the tongue might be the smallest part of the body, but it directs the path of my life. Because if I speak God's word, I will experience that word. If I speak words that contradict God's word, I will experience that word in my life. So every minute of my life, everyone should be focused. We all should be focused on speaking God's word and not the lies. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.